Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? Final section of topic five here is where we're actually going to be relating customary metric units, right? We're going to convert between customary and metric. And we're not going to do an example of every type that we could do here, but we are going to convert at least once between uh, the different types of lengths, the different types of mass, and the, the different types of capacity. So here we go. Right. So we're just going to use the conversion factors to solve these problems. And so uh, th provided for you is conversion factors you might need. Uh, and then we're going to see what we can kind of figure out here. So how do we convert 1 and 5 tenths inches, 1 and a half inches? Oh, excuse me. This is problem 1. We're converting. <laughs> Let's make it easy on ourselves, Mr. Eggman. My apologies. We're converting 5 inches to centimeters. We're converting 5 inches to centimeters. And so the conversion factor that I need to know is that 1 inch is 2 and 5,400 centimeters. And so what we're asking here, right, is how many centimeters are in 5 inches. Pause the screen and see if you can solve this one. When I set up my conversion factor here, I notice that to get from 1 inch to 5 inches to keep an equivalent rate, uh, I had to multiply by 5. So in the denominator, I have to multiply my 2 and 5400 centimeters by 5 to get 12 and uh, 70 hundredths or 12 and 7 tenths centimeters. Right off the bat, if this doesn't make sense to you, you should pause and come and see me. So here we go. 50 gallons is how many liters? Again, round to the nearest tenth if you should need to. So 50 gallons is how many liters? I want you to pause the screen right away and see if you can't solve this one. My conversion factor here given in my table, 1 gallon is 3 and 79 hundredths liters. So I'm converting that to 50 liters, so I have to multiply by 50. And then when I do that over here, um, you'll notice once rounding to the nearest tenth, I ended up with 189 and 5 tenths liters. Right. So c convert 10 liters is about how many quarts? 10 liters is about how many quarts? So go ahead and uh, pause the video and try this one. So the conversion factor here, 1 liter is 1 and 600 quarts, and I'm converting to 10 liters. So if you needed a little help getting that set up, there it is. Uh, see what answer you get. Uh, this is a nice mental math problem. Uh, when we convert from 1 liter to 10 liters, we're multiplying by 10. So when I multiply 1 and 600 by 10, I get 10 and 6 tenths quarts. All right, let's convert ounces to grams. Ounces to grams. Again, uh, this one should be pretty easy to set up since it's 10 ounces. Nice round number. 10 ounces is how many grams. Uh, go ahead, set this problem up and, and try to solve, and then check against my math. So again, with the conversion factor of 1 ounce is 28 and 3,500 grams, converting to 10 ounces, I need to multiply by 10. So that mental math showed out here, 283 and 5 tenths grams. You might be thinking, Mr. Heckman, I'm doing these in my head. Why do I need to write this down? And the simple fact of the matter is, is I want you to write it down so that you just get in the habit of setting up your equivalent rates, your conversion factors, in the correct way. Uh, too many times kids flip-flop where the numbers should be, right? They might write that uh, one ounce right, uh, over, and then somehow the 10 ounces ends up on the bottom. And I'm not saying you're going to do this, but I've seen it enough that we know that that's wrong, and I want you to be setting your ratios up in the correct way. All right, one final one here. We're going to choose all of the metric measures here that are less than 15 feet. So maybe we'll do one with you here. We've got six and a half meters. And I know that one meter is three and twenty-eight hundred feet. So one meter is three and twenty-eight hundred feet. Oops. Making some 
There we go. Six and a half meters. Multiply that by six and a half. So down here I must also multiply by six and a half. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, thirteen, twelve, thirteen, eighteen, nineteen. Seven, nine. All right, so this six and a half meters is more than 15 feet. Can't be an answer. Pause and try to figure out which ones could be. All right, so we knew that A was not a choice. Here in red, I calculated B to five meters. I got 16 and four tenths. In green, I calculated C. One meter is uh, three and twenty-eight hundred feet. How many feet are four and a half meters? I got fourteen and seventy-six hundred feet. So I knew that C was an answer. And then using some reasoning, I didn't even calculate it because it doesn't ask me to. But I also know then that D and E are answers because C is an answer. 510, log on and complete it. Last section in 510. Uh, see me with some questions and have a great day.